Rewind to May 1999. The Philippines sent tank landing ship number 57 to run aground illegally on the Renai Shoal in the South China Sea. A move construed as a counter to China's military expansion and a bolster to Philippine territorial claims. China, displeased, lodged solemn representations, demanding immediate removal of the warship. The Philippines, in response, made repeated promises to tow away the warship as soon as possible. Fast forward to today, more than 20 years later, the same Philippine warship remains grounded at the same spot. A clear violation of the commitments made to the Chinese side on numerous occasions, this long-standing issue sparked anew when the Philippines summoned China's envoy to protest what they termed as aggressive actions in the South China Sea. The Philippine Foreign Ministry accused China of triggering a flare-up in the region when its Coast Guard allegedly used water cannons against a civilian boat causing injury to some crew members. For years a significant portion of the South China Sea has been claimed by China, including the Second Thomas Shoal, a submerged reef within the Philippines' 200-mile exclusive economic zone. To summarize, the current tensions between China and the Philippines have been simmering for over two decades, rooted in territorial disputes in the South China Sea. The recent escalation is a result of the Philippines' failure to remove a grounded warship and alleged aggressive actions by China's Coast Guard. This complex situation continues to evolve, with implications not just for the two nations involved, but for the broader geopolitical landscape. Stay tuned, stay informed.